Hey, good morning. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, this is Chase Thee. Good morning. So listen, I'm going to review a sauce today by just a great company. I love Jay Blunt from Smoking Blunt Hot Sauce. Really cool sauces. Very, uh, it's got a great signature. I haven't talked about that in a while. Signatures. Sauce makers have a signature, like authors have a voice. Do you know what I mean? Like an author writes a, you know, if you read a, a bunch of books by a, the same author, that voice is the same. California quail just showed up right there. He'll talk in a minute. Come on, Dan. I call him Dan. At any rate, uh, they make great sauces. They have a bunch of really, really, uh, even though they have a very unique, a lot of them are very, very different. There's a signature there. So it's beautiful. I dig it. Uh, let me read you the ingredients in this sauce. We've got uh, onions, mangoes, carrots, jalapenos, seasons mix, and chili pepper. Um, onions. The only few sauces I've had where the main ingredient is onion, I dig them. So do you guys notice anything different? I've had a, uh, wow, just a paradigm shift. I've had an amazing moment with a goatee. You guys notice anything different about it? Here's what happens. When you have a goatee, a lot of times when you when you braid it, it'll, it'll be wonky on one side. It'll be like this. It happened to me for, oh, almost eight years. And it was funny. The other day I was, I was sitting around and I was... Uh, I've had a couple, bad couple of days. I, I was sitting around and I was looking at the goatee and it was driving me crazy. I'm like, how do I get the goatee braid? So I typed in, I was on Google, man. I said, that's the best way to braid your goatee so the braid is center. And there's a technique. And if you look, the braid is absolutely in the middle now. And I've had, it's, people, it only took me eight years to figure that out. And if I hadn't gone online to look at it, it'd still be crooked. It just would. So I'm leaving the uh, next day or so. Dan's not saying anything. He's just sitting right there looking at me. Do you want me to turn the camera around and show you? Dan, say something. I gotta show you Dan just because he's a cool bird. Give me just a second. You guys ready? Stay right there. You guys will watch. You're gonna see Dan Quayle in just a minute. Where? There he is. That's Dan Quayle. Say something, Dan. You're on video. There you go. All right. You saw Dan Quayle, and he spoke on command, which is pretty cool. Um, you're done now. <clears throat> anyway, so for the last couple days, I haven't been sleeping. And I don't mean I haven't been sleeping well. I said that's enough, dude. You're all right. We're done. You're all set. Um, if I... Uh, it, it hasn't been a case of not sleeping well. It's just a case of not really sleeping at all which is sort of a drag but um i think part of the reason I'm, I'm struggling with sleeping is i'm writing about stuff that i'd rather not be thinking about just to be really honest with you all right so this is i didn't even tell you so obviously this is is uh chipotle habanero mango and i love mango and i love habanero a lot and dan's not going to shut up okay and the aroma oh wow you know the onion is very prevalent, but it doesn't smell like an onion sauce, if that makes any sense. Oh, it's beautiful though, what a great aroma. Mango is a beautiful thing. I have a nephew Scoville who's appeared in, I think he's been in one video, maybe two. He's wicked allergic to uh, mangoes. Scary, like scary allergic to them. <clears throat> Now Dan won't shut up. Okay, here's the, here's the pour for Chipotle habanero mango from Smoke and Blunt Hot Sauce. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Smoke and Blunt Hot Sauce. This is Chase Thee.
Settle down, Dan. You know what? In the past, I think my, and I've said this on video, my favorite sauce from Smoking Buns is original. And it could be just the mood I'm in this morning. But this is wicked good. Mmm. Oh, man. I know I've had it before, but it just, it's hit it. It hits right today. Oh, man. The onion is so beautiful. I mean it. This, I think this probably is good. Just for today, anyway. This is my favorite sauce from Smoke and Blunt. Wow, is this going to be so good on breakfast? Anything eggs? Oh. It's a good example, though. Right, people have asked me for what my favorite hot sauce is, and I always say the same thing. I don't really have a favorite hot sauce. Whatever hot sauce, I pick the right sauce for a given food I'm eating. That's my favorite sauce in the moment. Um, in the past, it's always been smoking uh, blunt original. That one just hit right. That is my favorite for them. You know, the funny thing is, though, the next time I have a few more that I'm going to be reviewing of, of smoking blunts. And maybe uh, I'll have the same thing happen again. Like, this is my favorite. But, boy, that's such a good sauce. If you haven't, um, try any sauces. Oh, you know what I did? I am a wicked dummy. Let me tell you, I, let me tell you what my problem is. Settle down, Dan. Changing phone carrier. All right, so I'm going from one carrier to a different carrier. And they said, nah, no problem. Seamless. Seamless. You'll stop one, and one second later, the new one's going. So yesterday, we swapped it over. Canceled the old one. <laughs> right after we canceled the old one, this guy says to me, it's going to be 24 to 72 hours before your phone works. I said, well, geez, that's a problem. You know, it's my business. And I'm leaving. I'm, move, I'm going to be at, moving out of town for a while to write a book. I didn't say the book part, but bad time for my phone not to work. So that's one of the things. So because of that, because my phone doesn't work right now, I didn't bring it out with me. And on that phone, I have some really spectacular trivia questions or trivia tidbits. I don't have any. I don't have it with me, so let me come up with a tidbit of information. There's only one animal with four knees. You know what animal that is? Think about that. There's only one animal with four knees. So if you think about it like a horse, the horse has a knee in the front, but they got an elbow in the back. It's, it's different. You know what I mean? Like cats, they're, they have uh, you know, el you know, knees in the front, but they have, they have an elbow in the back. Elephants have four knees. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Because some other really weird trivia that I know. Here's the thing: when you get to be an old goober like me, you know what ends up happening? You acquire nonsensical, ridiculous, stupid trivia along the way. Here's a weird thing: there's only a certain amount of like RAM space in my dome, and I'm clogging it up with things I don't need to know about. So what I'm trying to do is um, kind of like delete the stuff that I don't need to make room for stuff that I need because I'm running out of RAM. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to wrap it up now. Um, I will have some more, uh, do some trivia with you later, maybe. Um, seriously, if you haven't tried, so I didn't give you the heat on this. I did that yesterday, too. Sorry about that. Four or five yesterday. I think it was four or five. Um, if you're not a Chiliad, here's what's really, really great about this. If you're not a Chiliad, you'll still eat this. Yeah, if you're not a chili, you need to get this. This is still doable. It's it's mild. This is a mild sauce. It's got habanero in it, obviously, but it's it's on the lower end. So if you're a chili head, if you're not a chili head, this is gonna be a medium heat sauce. It might be a little warm, but if you, it'd be so good. Um, trust me, you'll like it. If you're a chili head, three or four. And there might be a savage that calls it too, but it's just off the chain with flavor. So in the description box, you're going to see a link from my friend Jay. He's a good dude. 
He makes great hot sauces. So please, in the description box, check him out. Tell him I sent you. And you know what? If you, if... I don't want to go get a tattoo now. But if you're, I think they got great bottles. But if you're looking at it and going, man, I think I need to try smoking blunt, go to the playlist. Just in the search, type in smoking blunt. I've probably done 20 reviews from all of it. No, I'm not sure I mean a lot, but I've reviewed everything that they've got. So if you've got, you know, like if you're wondering what other sauces that he may have, just search them, just type in smoking blunt. Also use this as a, uh, as a lot of people do this. And if you haven't yet, you should. A lot of people are, are have started their journey chasing the heat. And it's because, you know, you watch a video or you see the show super hots or whatever. Um, but uh, it, what ends up happening you start doing that, you're going to start seeing things that you want. If you don't know what it's going to be like, search it here. I probably reviewed it. So in the description box, Jay from Smoking Blunt Hot Sauce. Tell him I sent you, please. Um, there's a couple of things I want to say, but I don't have my phone with me. That threw me off. I don't know, but boy, how about that go to a huge, huge difference. All right, so uh, right there, you're going to see my son. Right there, you're going to see the light book. Right here are all the challenges I've done since I started the channel. Right here is Pepperology. I love you guys. I'll see you later this afternoon. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.